welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you the configuration of ssap integration on the cucm side as well as the unity side let's start with the integration between cucm and unity with ssap let me just log in onto the cucm first and then we will start So before starting the integration between CUCM and Unity, we need to we need to create few things. It's like uh, Cisco voicemail ports, message waiting, voicemail profile, voicemail pilot number, hunt pilot number, hunt list and line group. These all are the things which we need to configure. But before that, what is the main thing which we need to configure? That is CSS and the partition. So let me create a CSS and partitions first for this voicemail and then we will proceed further. So let me go to the call routing and create a partition first. So let me give it a name as a voicemail partition. So that should be VM underscore PT. This would be our partition for the voicemails. And let me create the CSS as well. Click at new. Let me give the name as VM underscore CSS description would be I can give the same. And let me choose the partition which I just created voicemail underscore PT. And let me create a device pool as well for our integration so that I can use the same device pool which I'm going to create it right now. So I can give the device pool name as well voicemail underscore device pool. I can choose the Cisco Unified Communication Manager group that is CUCM group. As of now, it is default. So I can choose the default one. But if you have other subscribers and you already created CUCM groups, you can choose those subscribers. So I, I can just uh, click it on the default and date time group, which I can use it as CM local region would be the default one location. If you want to choose it as Hubnan, you can choose it, but I'm not going to uh doing anything on the bandwidth part so you can choose it as none and you can choose it as hub none as well the rest of all other things are by default now you just need to click save so that it will just create one new device pool for your voicemail add successful this the oh, okay let me let let me just uh, start the integration and so the first thing which we need to create that is message waiting option That is MWI, MWI. We need to we need to create we need to give the two numbers. That is one is MWI on, another one is the MWI off. So let me click on add new, and I can give the unique number on the message waiting. That is I can give six five seven zero as a as a MWI off. Here you can choose MWI on and MWI off. So I'm choosing MWI off with the 6570 number partition we can choose which i just created voicemail underscore pt description you can give it as mwi of css you can choose the same which i just created for the voicemail voicemail underscore css and you can click on save so we created 6570 as a mwi of number now i'm gonna create mwi on with the another number So I'm choosing the number 6571 for the MWI on partition, same one description, I can give it as MWI on CSS, we can give the same. 
So now we created message waiting indicator that is MWI on and MWI off buttons. Now we need to create the voicemail ports. So let me go to the advanced features voicemail and I can go to the Cisco voicemail port wizard. It will like if, if I want to create like five or 10 ports in one go, then I can just go to the Cisco voicemail port wizard. And there are a few things which I need to do, which I'm going to do it right now. So the first thing it will ask for, what would you like to do? That is a create a new Cisco voicemail server and add ports to it, or you want to add ports to an existing server or you want to delete. So I'm going to create new Cisco voicemail server and I will add the ports to it. Click on this one and then next. So after clicking on next, it will ask for a new voicemail server, which is just like pre-populated that is add ports to a new Cisco voicemail server using this and Cisco UM1. You can give any other your name as well, any other, any other name which is suitable for you. So right now I'm using the same one, Cisco UM1, then click on next. Okay, so it is saying Cisco voicemail server name you entered is already in use. So let me just create Cisco VM1. Okay, now it is asking how many ports do you want to add? Let me just choose five ports. Okay, now it is asking for the description configured device information for ports. You can just give voicemail ports as a description. Device pool, you can use the default one and the one which I created. So I'm going to use the one which I just created voicemail underscore device pool. Calling search, search space, I'm going to use the same one which I created for the voicemail. You don't need to choose the ARCSS. Location, you can choose hub none, device security mode, standard non-secure voicemail port, and the trusted element would be default one. Click on next. Okay, now it is asking for the beginning directory number because we are going to create five ports. So we need to assign five numbers. So as of now, I can just give the beginning directory number. That is, I can just give it here as one nine zero zero and partition I can give the same which I created for voicemails CSS will be the same as well now internal caller ID internal caller ID then, then we have external phone number mask so external number mask like whenever it is going to the voicemail which number it should show there this is not a mandatory but if you want to give it give any any external number mask then you can give it here as well like i can just mention plus one two three four five six seven one nine zero zero or we can say plus one two three four five six seven zero 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 click on next Now it is asking to, for the configuration of line group. So we can do one thing. We can we can just click on yes, add directory numbers to a new line group, or we can say yes, add directory numbers to an existing. If we already have an existing line group, then we can choose this one. And if you want to add them later on, you can just click on no, I will add them later. So we are going to create a new line group here as well. And we will add these directory numbers starting with 1990 till 1904 and we will add it under one line group. So once I click on yes, add directory numbers to a new line group, it will just populate and it will ask for the new name for the line group. So it is asking, it is saying enter the line group settings is Cisco voicemail server, line group name, Cisco VM1, you can change it. Line group name, you can say VM underscore line group. So now it is saying number of ports to add five adding ports. You can, this is just a confirmation you can see. 
once you click on finish then it will create it it is showing all the things which you already mentioned here description device pool css external number mask and the line group and you can click on finish so now it is not giving any error it means it's created so you can see it here it is saying successfully create number band 19001 2 3 and 4 so these are the five voicemail ports which is created and it is saying successfully created line groups as well and they successfully create line group numbering plan map for number plan above and add new existing line group voicemail underscore line group so our voicemail ports has been created now you, now we need to uh, create we need to just uh, configure other things that is voicemail pilot voicemail profile hunt pilot hunt list line line group is already created so now i am going to create hunt list first so you need to go to the call routing go to the hunt list and click on add new so you need to give the name and we can choose it as vm underscore hunt list description you can say hunt list for voicemail cisco unified communication manager group we can choose it as default and once you click on enable this hunt list change effective on save now this is required for voicemail you click on save So it is just uh, giving a warning. The selected CUCM group has only one CUCM configured for the control process of Red and NC. You need to select another CUCM group with more than one call manager. You can just ignore this warning as of now. Now you need to uh, add the line group which we created earlier when we were configuring the voicemail ports. So once you click on this, it will just populate the drop down line group. It is saying voicemail group and the voicemail line group. Which I just created right now is voicemail underscore line group. Click on save. Okay. Now you can see it is showing add line group. Line group is already added here and then we can click on save. let me just reset this as well and close so now our hunt list has been created now we need to move to the next part that is our hunt pilot click on add new make sure your hunt pilot number and the voicemail pilot number should be same so let me just create the hunt pilot number as 2100 then we can give the route partition as the same which i created for the voicemail description you can say hunt pilot for voicemail you need to choose the hunt list which i just created right now i just created vm underscore hunt list and i don't think you need to choose any other settings right now let me just check it once again yep all good let me let me just save it so now hunt pilot number is already created let's just uh, Let's just create the voicemail pilot number first with the same number that we created for the hunt pilot that is 2100. Let me click on add new. So the voicemail pilot number would be the same as of hunt list 2100. CSS would be the same for the VM and we can just voicemail pilot number. 
or if you want to just make it as default, you can click on make this as default voicemail palette for the system. So it, it's showing it's successful. So we already created voicemail pilot number and pilot number, hunt list, and the line group and line. So voicemail pilot number is 2100. And then the hunt list, hunt pilot number is also 2100, which is same. So let's move on to the last task, which we need to get for voicemail, that is voicemail profile. Let me click on add new. Voicemail profile name. So we need to give the voicemail profile name here first. So we can just uh, give it as voicemail profile for 2100. That is a voicemail profile name. Oh, it doesn't contain. We can just give it as voicemail underscore profile. description we can give the same voicemail pilot so you need to choose the same which you created voicemail pilot number which you just created if you are creating the voicemail profile for this so i just created this 2100 voicemail box mask if you want to give it then you can otherwise you can ignore it click on save Okay. Now, all other th all the things in CUCM has been configured for the integration of voicemail with the Unity. So what, what, we, what we already created so far, so we created voicemail profile, which contains the voicemail pilot number that you can see it here as 2100 voicemail underscore CSS. And this voicemail pilot number is same as the hunt pilot number, which I just created. So hunt pilot number 2100 contains the hunt list, which I created. And that hunt list contains the line group. And that line group contains the voicemail ports, which we created through Cisco voicemail port wizard, this one. So all the things we created, we configured on the CUCM now. Now we need to configure the same things, or we can say the configuration on the Unity as well. Let me log in on the Unity first, and then we can start the Unity site configuration. Okay, scroll it down to the telephony integrations and then click on the phone systems. Once you click on the phone system, it will show you the default one or the which or the phone systems which already created. So let me click on add new. And let me give the name as phone system SCCP. Click save. Now, after phone system has been created, you need to add the port groups. So it will take the phone system which you created, and the port group type should be SCCP as we are doing the SCCP integration as of now. Display name is the same. So let me just give the display name prefix that is Cisco VM1 VI. So this name should be the same which we created in the CUCM. So I need to give the NWI on extension and NWI off extension. Let me check it under the CUCM. So MWI on extension should be 6571. 6571 and our MWI off extension is 6570. Now we have the primary server settings that is IPv4 address for the host name that should be our the primary CUCM. So here in my case, the primary one should be 10, 10, 21. Okay, now it is asking, uh, now it is saying port group has already been created. Now I need to uh, add the ports as well. But before that, let me just add my secondary server that is subscriber, I can say. Let me add it here as well. Let me give that the order is 1, 10.10.20.2. 10 
and let me save it. Okay, it's already saved. Let me just go to the ports and let me create the ports. Let me cl click on add new. Number of ports which I needed, that is five on system, that is font system SCCP. Port group is already taken. Server is the CUC server. Let me click on save. Okay, so now you can see your font system SSCP is one, two, three, four, five, five, five ports has been created. So let's just check it on the CUCM, whether it is showing registered or not. If the integration is successful, it should show the registered. Let me check it in the voicemail ports. Okay, now you can see it's created to VM we have one, two, three, four, five, the VM ports. It is showing the extensions, one, nine, zero, 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 one, two, three, and four. And it is showing registered with HQ, CUCM, Publisher, and the IPv4 address 1020.18 is the Unity address. It is showing registered with the CUCM. So our configuration has been done. That is the integration of CUCM with the Unity with the method of SCCP. In the next video, I will show you the SIP integration on CUCM side as well as on the Unity side. We will do all the configurations like SIP trunk creation, dot pattern creation, and all the things on the Unity side as well. I hope you liked my video. Please let me know in the comment section and please like, share, and subscribe if you really liked it and enjoy it. Please subscribe it if you want to see the new videos, new upcoming videos in your notifications. Thank